Well, it's been nearly a year since the murder of George Floyd sparked protests worldwide. At 6, we told you about a special exhibit showcasing unity. Tonight, one of those photographers in the exhibit is turning his art into activism. Here's Tierra Braddock with the next 400. Images of protest, police, and violence have been in our faces for the past year and a half. While we talk a lot about the people in front of the camera, what about the people behind the lens? Um, I enjoy being out in the front lines documenting history. Giorgio Sabino is the mastermind behind these photos. He was out in Cleveland during the 2020 summer protest that followed the death of George Floyd. You know, trying to grasp what the, 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 um, the moderators are sharing um, and, you know, peacefully protesting and capturing what, you know, that history um, uh, is really about. Sabino says photographing history is important, but he felt compelled to do something more to ease tension between the police and the community. So he started developing an app aimed at making sure police and community members stay alive after interacting with each other. The goal is to help police officers have more time, um, but in addition also provide um, the community with more time. Um, so if someone needs assistance and has a medical issue, we address that. If someone needs an issue with um, some attorney advice, we have that in, involved in this. The app Sabino is working on is called Govia and should be launching by August. Sabino says the fatal police shooting of Philando Castile in 2016 is what really motivated him to create the app. I, we should not have this in our system where someone's legally allowed to carry a gun and then, you know, is destroyed because of it. So I uh, pray for about this and, and this is the answer. Sabino isn't the only Cleveland photographer trying to find ways to unite people during these troubling times. Longtime photographer Herb Asherman brought photographers who identify as black, white, or other to shed their differences and get to know each other. Part of our mission statement is to uplift the human condition. And I don't think there's any better way of doing that than people to people, minds and hearts. Asherman and fellow photographer Randy O. Norfis got 55 photographers of all races to participate in the I Identify As exhibit, which is part of the 2021 Cleveland Photo Fest. We have to be proud of the effort that we've made that despite all of the social uh, mishap that's, that's happening in this country, we could uh, communicate with people who saw the benefits of our idea. Sabino was actually a part of this photo project. He says he joined because getting to know those who are different from you is one way to create unity in America. If you're not ever going to wear someone else's mask, how will you ever empathize or sympathize with another culture? Um, so when I think about how do we pull people together, that's one way how we do it. For the next 400, Tierra Braddock, 19 News. And 19 News' ongoing effort to combat racism and elevate equity in our community is the next 400. If you have a story you'd like us to cover or a topic, well, just send us an email to the next 400 at woio.com.